In Tel Aviv, a cry for help. Outside Israel's defense ministry, anguished relatives of captives held by Hamas demanding their release. All the countries, where are you? You must understand. It's crazy. We are in it. In hell. In hell. We are in hell. And we want our lovers back home now. A day after Hamas released two American captives, demonstrators urged leaders to implement a ceasefire and expressed anger with how the government has handled it all. Hours later, an announcement from the Qassam Brigades, the military wing of Hamas, saying the armed group informed Qatar they planned to release two more captives without conditions, but that Israel refused. We have offered to uh, hand over those uh, captives who are in severe humanitarian condition. But the governments, they are not serious on that. They want to continue killing our children. They want to continue bombardment the houses. In response, the office of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called the claims by Hamas mendacious propaganda and said we will continue to do everything necessary to bring all the captives and missing back home. Analysts say the message from Israel is clear, that it won't negotiate with Hamas. Israel did not negotiate. It was the Qataris who facilitated the uh, uh, negotiations with uh, Hamas to allow the uh, two uh, women, uh, the American citizens, to return home. Uh, and uh, in, in Israel, they believe that is part of a psychological war that Hamas wants to gain time before or to stop Israel, maybe with international, more international pressure to stop Israel from the ground invasion into Gaza. From the Israeli government, increasingly bellicose rhetoric and continuing military buildup. We will turn this equation 180 degrees. The day of the attack will be remembered as the day that started the final and complete destruction of the Hamas terrorist organization. We will deepen our attacks. We will minimize the dangers to our forces in the next stage of the war. And we're going to increase the attacks. While calls for a humanitarian ceasefire only grow louder, the bombardment of Gaza, already relentless, only intensifies. Mohammed Jamjoum Al Jazeera occupied East Jerusalem.